You know, they say don't judge a book by its cover, and I think that saying could apply to this package as well. At first glance, it looks like it might be full of fantasy castings, mostly because they chose to put this truck front and center, and the picture itself has a little bit of a cartoony feel to it. But if you look at all the other trucks on here, the rest of them are actually licensed castings. So if you're a fan of Hot Wheels trucks, stick around. We're going to pop this open here in just a second, and we'll see what's actually inside. Now, as for the package itself, this is the HW Hot Trucks 10 from Hot Wheels. This is an Amazon exclusive, and I'll leave a link in the description in case this is something you want to pick up. They do also have a race car pack, but it's not near as good as this truck pack, in my opinion. Now, one thing about the box itself, I don't mind the art. It's actually kind of neat, although this truck up here looks kind of funny. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a spoiler. That's a Ford Lightning. Uh, the front end of it looks a little bit funky the way they drew it there. But the only thing I really wish they'd have done differently is I wish this is one that had the flap on the front that you could lift up and see what's inside, kind of like this one here. I think they just reserve that for the more premium, and the basic of basics uh, don't really get that treatment. Either way, it's okay. It's, it's not a bad box, um, but just something I would have liked to have seen. Now, if you go to Amazon and read the reviews on this, you'll see that a lot of people claim that this is all uh, exclusive vehicles. And they're not. The vehicles themselves aren't exclusive to Amazon. It's just the way they're packaged. Now, some of these are multi-pack exclusives. So if you're in Walmart, Kroger, or your store that sells the 9-packs, the 20-packs, or even the 3-packs, some of the vehicles in those are exclusive to the multi-packs. You can't buy them on just a regular card. And so normally what that looks like is up in the top right-hand corner, you'll have one that says exclusive. That means on those cars, they have an exclusive decoration on them. But there's also some other cars dispersed throughout that uh, are only available in that color in the multi-packs. So those are called multi-pack exclusives. Uh, I'll also try to leave a link in the description to a website you can go to where you can see all of the multi-pack exclusives uh, year over year. Well, let's go ahead and go through these in order. I will put them out as I get them in two groups, one that is multi-pack exclusive, one that is not. And we'll go ahead and start here with this Mazda Repu. Love the decoration they've done on this. The color scheme looks really good. If you caught my short yesterday, I talked about this truck a little bit, uh, the Zamac version. And on the back of it, it says rotary power. And I'd never really noticed that. Of course, on this one, it says it on the door and on the hood. Uh, but if you're not familiar, REPU actually stands for Rotary Engine Pickup. So it's the only mass-produced pickup that's uh, powered by a rotary engine, which I think is pretty cool. I will say, though, this casting, I believe, is not a multi-pack exclusive. You can get this in carded form. Up next, we have the Renan Rig. This is a fantasy casting, and this is also one that is not a multi-pack exclusive. You can get this on a regular card. Up next, we have our first multi-pack exclusive that we're looking at, and that's the 63 Studebaker Champ. Really cool little truck here. I don't know what it is about these, but I just love them. Uh, it's based on a real vehicle, but they've kind of given it a race car treatment. And uh, while we've had this uh, deco style on this truck, we have not had it in this color, and it's only, like I said, available in the multi-packs. Really cool looking paint, though. Let's see. I have to look at this one. I always get this one mixed up with the highway hauler, but this is the fast bed hauler, also available in carded form. So this is not a multi-pack exclusive. And uh, if you have like the Mad Props or one of the smaller castings, they will actually fit on the bed. But unfortunately, a regular size casting will not. They're just a little bit too long. But either way, really cool looking little truck. Another multi-pack exclusive here is this, I'm going to call it Teal GMC Cyclone. Really popular truck here. And I will say that although the tail lights leave a little something to be desired on this one, uh, this one probably has better paint than any of the other ones that I've seen so far. Uh, I did a series of videos earlier in the year about uh, nine packs and I think multi packs in general. And uh, one of the things I pointed out was every one of these I'd seen had like paint smudges or this gray paint down here was like wore out. They just all had paint problems. And overall, this one actually looks really good. And 
as I said before about this, if you've not seen that, if you if you're interested in this truck and you see one that has good paint on it, you might as well go ahead and pick it up because from what I've seen at least, it's a good possibility that you will not see another one that has good paint on it. Here, I believe this one is another one that is not a multi-pack exclusive. And man, this thing is really in there. This is the 40 Ford Pickup. I believe we had two colorations of this, and I'm, I'm wanting to think this one was actually from last year. I may be getting that mixed up with something else, but as far as I know, this one is not a multi-pack exclusive, but still a really cool truck. Here we have the Unimog, I believe. Yep, it is the Unimog. And, uh, you know, they have another casting that kind of looks similar to this, but I think it's got a thing in the back. I've not looked at it real close, but I believe it's a fantasy casting. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't getting that mixed up because they're close in color and kind of size and everything. Unimog's always a really cool truck. If you're not familiar with these, check these out in real life. Just a big, super cool truck. Uh, you know, they usually have snorkels on them. They may come with, uh, with them like that from the factory, but they can, uh, they're real tall. They can go through water. Just a really neat, big truck. Uh, this one is not a multi-pack exclusive. I believe you can also get this in carded form. And for some reason, these down here were wrapped in plastic. I don't know what that's all about. Odd that it would just be these two. But uh, let's see, what is this? 52 Chevy pickup. I knew it was a Chevy. I couldn't remember what year it was. This one is a multi-pack exclusive, and this is one of the only ones I had not picked up already. So definitely glad to get that in this package. Really cool looking casting. Um, seems like they have another one that looks similar to this that has a little bit different deco on it. I'm not sure if it's the same truck, um, but it's an older uh, red truck, I think, that they have also available as a multi-pack exclusive. And this F100 here, really, uh, I'd say overall, one of my favorite recent castings that they've done. They've done it in several different colors, and honestly, each color they do in this just has like a totally different look and feel to me. But uh, really cool. This color is a multi-pack exclusive, and I absolutely love it. Uh, might be my favorite multi-pack exclusive so far this year, really. Last but not least, we have another multi-pack exclusive in this Ford Lightning. Pretty popular truck here. Looks really good in the white and kind of has some neat uh, details as far as the Tampo goes. I believe this is, uh, we've, we've already seen this uh, Tampo on uh, another iteration of this truck. I can't remember what color it was. I think it may have been in the race, car, race pack. This may be um, the one that they have blue in the five pack. But either way, really good addition to this set. And overall, I think this is a nice set, especially if you don't have any of these. The problem, I guess, uh, that I could see with it is if you're into the multi-pack exclusives, or even if you aren't, you may have still just kind of picked some up along the way. And uh, so you may already have several of these. Or if you've been buying trucks in, uh, you know, from the pegs on cards, you may already have some of these as well. But as far as the multi-pack exclusives goes, you can see them right here. If you've kind of been on the fence about it or you're just getting into them, this is a good way to know for sure that you're getting these five multi-pack exclusives and some other cool trucks as well. And so this would make a pretty good gift. I guess I should probably get to price point. Um, price point for me delivered was about $15. So that evens out to about $1.50 per car. So Depending on where you're picking these up, that price may be a little bit high. Of course, that is the price delivered to your house. Um, and it's in a nice you know, gift pack if you're going to be giving it as a gift. So that's something to think about. Uh, but, you know, I do think it's going to be something that's geared more to, toward people who are really into trucks because uh, we all know that, you know, the JDM stuff's pretty hot. Euros are pretty hot. And even if you're into classic trucks, I'm sure that you're probably into at least some other type of vehicle too so you know is this pack better for you than say just going and buying a nine pack that you find that has some really good cars in it um you know obviously only you can answer that question uh would i buy this over some a lot of the nine packs i've seen in the stores yeah ab absolutely and especially if you're only finding 20 packs that have like one or two vehicles in there that you like 
this is definitely, I think, a better value than that. Uh, but just keep that in mind, that price point. And uh, guys, I think that's about all I have to say about these vehicles. Let me know if you've been looking for any of these. Is this something that you think you might pick, want to pick up? Uh, if you like this review of this exclusive set, YouTube should be popping you up a video that it thinks you might like. If you don't mind, check that out. And I would truly appreciate it if you're still with us, if you would just hit that subscribe button. Uh, my goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers, and I only like a little over 400 people to make that happen. Y'all have been great so far. I appreciate you watching. Hope everybody's having a good weekend, and happy hunting, y'all.